Hey guys, Zeta here, and today we're taking a look at the Spider-Man animated series 10-inch Spider-Man from Toy Biz. And this was before Hasbro picked up the Marvel license. So, this, along with the 10-inch Venom, was one of my childhood toys. So, it's really nice to have these two again. <clears throat> I remember, but I do remember vaguely though that at some point, I think it was the leg on this that broke, and then either an arm or a leg on this that broke. But like over time, like when I moved from Virginia to Florida, I suddenly lost the venom, <clears throat> and then I held on to the Spider-Man until. You know, the leg or arm, probably leg, broke off of that, and then I had lost it. I think it was in a yard sale that I lost it. I'm not entirely sure. <clears throat> but, yeah. Painting and sculpting is very nice, especially for the 90s. You got the back emblem painted right there. Looks like Sharpie was done to remake the webs there. Well, the way the legs are, unfortunately, it is hard to stand up. You have to balance it right. <clears throat> but, yeah. For quick size comparisons, here he is. Again, with, with Venom, and there's Turbo Man. As for accessories, <clears throat> it does come with this, and what you would do is you would attach it onto his hand, like that, and now it looks like he's shooting his web. And you have a hook here to where what you could do with it is you could hook it onto anything like this and it'll look like he's hanging from it. So that's cool. And articulation wise, the head can do a full 360, arms can do a full 360, 90 degrees of bend on the right arm, but slightly over 90 at the left arm and legs move forward that far and the right leg can go back a little further than the left one and the knees can bend that far <clears throat> so I really love this figure and it's great to have it again so that's it for this review I hope you enjoyed it like comment subscribe hit the notification bell now this along with the venom I picked up off of eBay and for pretty good prices, too. Same way with how I got the Gamma Blast Batman, the Fighting Action Scar, and the Ruber figure. <clears throat> you can find a lot of good stuff on eBay for pretty cheap, actually. Like vintage stuff you might find a good price for. But, yeah, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. The links to my Discord and my other YouTube channels and my social medias are in the description. And this has been Zeta. Have a good rest of the day.